welcome back to mastering options trading so this was my thumbnail yesterday i said that whole world was seeing head and shoulder pattern market will crash this is a red alert black friday so many things you would have seen i simply said head and shoulder pattern yes but no big fall why and if you remember i spoke about the 21 exponential moving average indicator the max pen divergence the pcr and all of those two three parameters that we used it was picture perfect right so nifty made a low of 24 568 and from there it bounced back very sharply right i'm very very happy today not because i made profits or something like that or i got my accurate prediction it's more to do with i'm um, so many messages i got today on whatsapp that it saved a lot of people from taking a bearish trades and as well as many people have made money because uh, especially my webinar participants who know the analysis were very confident enough to take a trade so it was an excellent day in my opinion right now this video is very important because there are various things that i will talk about like how, where market can go in coming days right what is the view for short term what is the view for medium term is the market fall over or is the market going to touch new highs everything will be discussed in this video so watch patiently yeah, and you may make the video speed as 1.25x but do not miss this video till the end right so firstly what was the plan is clearly if market goes down then i would take a bullish trade as soon as it broke 24600 right i entered bullish positions because the market was falling very fast right and i know that it cannot fall too much because of the support so I did not wait for the exact support to be touched because there is a 0.4% buffer rule. Some of you know that. So because of that reason, I entered earlier itself around 24,600, right? And what was my exit point? The 24,694, if you remember, right? So that was the support I had drawn yesterday, right? So once it is broken, support will act as resistance. So somewhere around 24,694, 24, I exited my positions, right? Now, that's not the end of story. What happened is, if you remember yesterday itself, I explained about these three long wicks, right? So, whenever there are long lower wicks, that means there is buying pressure. Unfortunately, did not make any pattern and immediately came down. But here, what happened? Again, with a bullish candle and three candles, it made significant lower wicks, right? And then it started to break above it as well. So, I entered one more trade here, somewhere around 24, 730. Right? And then I exited at the resistance level. Next resistance level I had drawn was 24, 850 or 860 is what I had drawn. So I exited around these levels. So totally two excellent trades. One at the close to the bottom most. And second one is again around this level. Now very important point as a trader you all should remember is don't expect that you capture the down move also, up move also, everything that is not practically possible always. It may happen some of the times but not always. So what you need to remember is, sorry, so a part of it should be your plan and you capture that plan and execute that plan correctly, right? As long as you're making profits and sticking to the plan, that is more important than capturing entire move. That is not at all very important, right? Now, we will talk about uh, Bank Nifty as well. It was, what a beautiful trade. If you remember the levels I had mentioned, above 51,425, I said definitely it will go to this level, right? 51,750 or something. So picture perfect. It formed a nice surrounding bottom, although this candle was down. But immediately next candle it recovered and looked like a rounding bottom on a 15 minute start. And then slow and steadily market went up and way above what I expected also. So excellent trade on Bank Nifty if somebody has taken. So that was also very nice. Now I know you are more curious to know about what next and that FOMO is there that I missed out this despite knowing that market can reverse I did not take a trade and all. So always remember that you have to go with some conviction and belief right. If you keep watching you will keep watching only you will never be able to take a trade. You have to calculate the risk and take the trades accordingly right. Now we will look at the participants data weekly time frame weekly analysis daily analysis. And very importantly, from here, market will go up. I'm telling you first only. But there is one important thing you need to remember, which you'll understand, right? So one quick thing. Uh, some of you requested me to run a webinar and have already enrolled yesterday suddenly, right? So in case anybody is interested, one webinar only I'm doing in November. I'm not sure about December at all. This is also based on request. I'm doing it. If anybody is interested within next two, three days, you should enroll so that I block my dates, right? 
I don't want to. Uh, I want to plan it well beforehand itself. So in, you can find my number in the channel description. Right now, let's start with the weekly analysis of Bank Nifty first. So if you carefully observe the analysis, what is the pattern? The moment you see, you should be able to tell patterns. Hardly there are around 10-15 patterns which are important. So this is a morning star pattern. Why? A bearish candle followed by a doji, right? And it's actually a very good hammer if you ask me because bulls push the prices way high and then a green candle or a confirmation candle is also there. Now as soon as the high of this candle is broken, we can start taking bullish trades as per this particular pattern. This is the morning star pattern. Ideally, it should form at the downtrend. As of now, it's a temporary downtrend, right? So it has formed here, so it will still be valid, but only thing it has to break the high of this candle, which is around 50 to 200, right? Now that is on the daily chart, weekly chart. What about the daily chart? It's a picture perfect W pattern, right? So we were expecting some breakout here. It did not happen. It took two, three days extra. Today it has found an excellent bullish engulfing candle, right? This entire bearish candle is engulfed and closed about the breakout area as well, right? And if you cannot visualize the W pattern here, just put the line chart, right? It's an excellent W pattern and can go up very much, right? So maybe it will be a gap up directly, I'm not sure. But Bank Nifty is looking picture perfectly bullish. But don't expect new all-time high at all. I'll tell you why in a moment. And we'll talk about the levels as well. What about Nifty? Nifty, if you see on weekly time frame, so basically it's like two dojis, nothing significant. It's not a bullish pattern or a bearish pattern. It's just some indecisiveness. So market has been kind of closing around the similar levels. So one of the directions it has to take upward or downward direction. So I will say it's a neutral on weekly chart, right? How about daily chart? This is called the counter bullish attack candle. Now, what does that mean? So basically bears tried to bring down the market. Bulls and they actually opened gap down also. That means bears were strong in the morning. But towards the closing, right, the bulls counter attack the bears, and that's why it is called counter attack bullish candle. Ideally, it has to close above the 50% of this bearish candle, but still, we can kind of consider a counter bullish attack candle, and the high of this candle should be broken for further bullishness, right? So, this also kind of looks like a W pattern to me if you want to visualize. So, you can see, right? So, we can expect a target around 25, 150 for now, temporary target right so we will see the levels and other things in the so we will see the participants data and then decide right index futures 4000 addition of longs by retailers nothing much 7000 reduction of shorts by fis so nothing interesting on index futures but again the fis have not reduced their index future shorts a lot right so that needs to be kept in mind right what does it indicate? We'll discuss in the coming days. As of now, it's not very important, right? The index calls, huge addition of call shots by retailers, right? So whoever thought that head and shoulder is broken, market will crash down and all, have aggressively shorted calls. So that's a bullish sign because we analyze opposite of retailers. FIS have added some call now, so that is bullish. Pros have reduced their call shots, so that is also bullishness. Clearly from call segment, it is indicating bullishness. Puts huge addition of put longs by retailers. If you see, they have added 19 lakh put longs and shorted around 16 lakh. So close to 3 lakh or yeah, close to 4 lakh of put longs they have added. So retailers are getting bearish. So we take the opposite. It is bullish. FIS have reduced their put longs. So that is also bullish. Pros have moved from put longs to put shorts. So that is also bullishness. Clearly from index call segment and index put segment, it is indicating bullishness. Very likely we can expect a big gap up also on Monday. In case it doesn't open a gap up, we will wait for the high to be broken and then we can take a bullish trade as well. Let's have a look at GIFT Nifty and then we'll look at the levels, right? So GIFT Nifty as of now is 24,905 and 24,895. It is indicating a 10 points gap down, but I don't think so it's going to open a gap down at all, right? It might not give a chance for fresh entry also, right? Now, what are the important levels for Nifty? 24,935 is a resistance. 25,030 and 25,090 are the key resistances. Now, one important thing I want to tell you on Nifty is my medium time 
frame target that means within a few days i am expecting nifty to hit 25 200 approximately 25 200 will be my initial target on nifty right after this only if it gives a breakout then we can expect the higher levels of 25 480 25 750 all those things we'll expect later for now we should only look about 25 200 from here if it rejects right i mean market starts to form a bearish candle then again it can fall so my initial target if you remember 23400 whatever 24100 and all so especially this level right somewhere around yeah this level will come but it will take some time right as of now let it go till 25200 there if it forms a bearish pattern then we can look for bearish trade again or if it goes up then somewhere around this gap area or 25500 we can look for another bearish trade for a bigger fall that is in the medium term in short term we can expect 25200 what about bank nifty right so this is a perfect w pattern breakout so first target we can expect is at least this gap to be filled and using fibonacci retracement right we can expect a target of around 50 to 750 also it is coinciding with this gap so i think that should be one of the key levels we can expect somewhere around 750 800 points of more is very much possible in bank nifty right of course go with the stop loss one possibility is monday just to make the bullish people get a doubt right market can come down initially but if it goes up again then it will be a very good trade on tuesday so i'm not sure if it will be monday it could be monday or tuesday market is likely to go up the patterns are looking very much bullish only thing ensure the high is broken here now what are the levels important for us yeah i told you the level in medium term and short term in nifty right so bank nifty in the medium term we can expect 50 to 800 850 kind of levels for sure and in short term also i think we are very close to this right so 50 to 350 is one important target we'll get very soon monday or tuesday right only thing is weeks should be like this only lower only it should not keep increasing on monday because of any i don't know generally i don't believe in news but this week should not shoot up by 15 20 percent and all otherwise it's picture perfect bullish trade for now right so what are the key levels let me show you an early chart so 52 okay you can see here 50 52020 and 51860 are the key supports for now right why 52020 some someone asked me how to draw a perfect support and resistance right so if you observe two times it has taken a resistance and got rejected that level should act as the support now earlier it was resistance now that it has broken it will act as the support that is why you see two candles took support here and bounced back both the times right so this is a very important support level for now 52020 next resistance is 50 to 175 and 50 to 350 are the E resistances above 50 to 350 we can expect 50 to 600 as well only above that we will expect gap filling but don't be in a hurry we'll go step by step right so that is for bank nifty nifty levels also i have already spoken so medium term we will have to wait for the market to go up again form some bearish candles and then market will this time go to lower levels the fall is not over but in the short term it's a relief rally we can say it has to go a little up so that is why we are playing we, we i am looking for a bullish trade for now and as and when higher levels are hit we will look for a bearish trade right and other important things if you are seeing this so basically yeah i don't know why the site is offline so basically fis are selling every single day so that is indicating that new all time high is not something we can expect and if you see the put writing for 24th october expiry right it's an excellent put writing here so that means they are very confident of market not going to fall 25020 as i mentioned is a key resistance once this is broken right short covering will trigger and we can expect 25150 to 200 very much easily right 25000 is the key resistance for now 25020 and another important thing um, i'm sorry i was late but i i have been getting comments to make video on gold and silver very soon i'll be making it so either on sunday or monday you can expect a video from me on gold and silver definitely i'll make this time without fail i'm just recollecting if there is anything important that i need to tell you uh, looks like mostly i have covered everything right so yeah these 
these kind of comments are something I don't like, right? So moon cycle, sun cycle, astrology, some God knows, numerology and things like that. All that all those are not at all required. Just follow the clear technical analysis. That would be good enough, right? I hope this video is helpful. Please do like, share and comment. Thank you all. Have a good day.